shop there at Chico uh, University. Uh, tell us a little bit how uh, this came, uh, came about. Okay, this is our second year of promoting a Jewish job fair. It really came about last year when the economy was sinking um, and schools were contracting in a very big way and there were a lot of people looking for jobs. And we decided there would be a wonderful opportunity to try to get the schools, other Jewish organizations, to come to one place where they could see many people at one time rather than having to make you know, 15, 20 appointments in their offices. And last year was very successful. We're repeating it this year. The economy is still such that people are uh, struggling to find jobs. And anything that we can do to help our students and even our alumni um, who are out there in the field of the Jewish community find jobs, we think is a tremendous chesed and a tremendous mitzvah. It's so important because I know a lot of people you know, working in the Jewish community where, you know, due to the, uh, the crisis, either have lost their jobs uh, or just coming out of the jobs, and they need that connection. You know, bringing people together is really the essential part. And it's, you know, it, it, that's the opinion of the Jewish community, helping each other. Absolutely. And if you take a look around the room here, you can feel the energy in the room. And it's also very important that people realize they're not in this job search alone. Right. And you see there's probably 50 or 60 different institutions represented here tonight. And pre-registered for tonight was, I think, about 297 people who will come through this room between now and 10 o'clock this evening. It's amazing. Well, it is amazing. Yeah, it is. And you have so many different you know, institutions here that you can really find different types of things. If you're looking for development, if you're looking for programming, if you're looking for Teach, just teachers, teaching. You know? Um, you know, uh, coordinators in schools who have uh, various organizations who are represented here. There's a lot of meaningful work that is still out there. I do think that people have to change um, their expectations. Um, jobs are not paying what they were paying. Even in the Jewish community where they weren't great to begin with, there is downward pressure on salaries right now. And there's an adjustment going on with ex expectations, both on the side of the potential uh, employee and on the side of the employer. Right. That's great. Where can people find out more about um, you know, finding jobs to be your position? Yeshiva University has an office called uh, Jewish Career Development and Placement. And the office exists to work with our alumni who are going into the field of Jewish community, whether it's a rabbi, an assistant rabbi, whether it's a principal, an assistant principal, teachers, camp directors. Uh, we, have a, we obviously have a school of Jewish education. We have a rabbinical school. We have a, a school of social work. If somebody wants to go into the Jewish community, our office, Jewish Career Development and Placement, works for them to help them find jobs. Um, we have a website that's going up shortly, but we are easily uh, found in the university website. Um, we have, um, you know, we all have desk phone numbers, right. and we're here at Yeshiva that's University, great. and we're here to help people find jobs in the Jewish right. community. Well, thank you so much. This is a wonderful event. And we wish thank you, you very much successes. for joining with us. Thank you. So this is really uh, an incredible uh, job fair uh, to bring really the Jewish community together. And uh, you just see so much energy in that room. You ought to be here every day. There's magic that goes on in all kinds of venues, but this is critically important. You know, at a time when people are doubting, right, we have over a hundred Jewish agencies, right, educational institutions, wise Jewish federation, who have signed on to interview people for jobs. Before the day began, we had over 300 students who pre-registered and pre-signed up with potential employers. All those 300 have given their resumes into the hands of the employers before they even showed up. So there's a sense of connection. Look, what we have to do together is be a community. What Yeshiva has to be kind of as the foundation stone of tomorrow is connect educational opportunities with future communal opportunities. Right. And it's so important now where there's so many people who are interested in getting to the Jewish world. And it's, it's just really the connection. Look, what, first of all, one of the things that's critical is I believe it's up to our community to take very seriously our role as 
um, being partners with the entire Jewish world and sharing Jewish passion and Jewish purpose with them. We train these students not just to know their Jewish story profoundly, but to know that they can impact on the world in serious ways. Thank God these are also times, notwithstanding the economy, where the best and the brightest want to go into the leadership, the Jewish leadership professions and the educational professions. That's great. It's yeah. terrific. Yeah, yeah. It's even fun. It is. It is. <laughs> Who knew, right? Who oh, knew? No. I knew. Oh, no, no, exactly. Knew. exactly. Yeah, working in the Jewish world, it is. it's not just uh, it's not just a paycheck, it's a fulfilling job. It's absolutely yeah. fulfilling. It is. And there's never any aggravation, and no, everybody never. always agrees. That's right. Everyone should go everybody to the Jewish agrees. world. Everybody agrees. All the time. No politics, no nothing. All the time. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. It's happening in that room right there. Um, tell us a little about, you know, your experience, uh, how you got all together, and, and uh, you know, the connections that are being made here. Sure. I, I think that the, the number one lesson that is uh, learned from this experience, bringing it all together, is uh, that there is one Jewish community. At the same time, there's uh, somewhat of a paradigm shift that's going on. Uh, in there, represented out of the 50 plus organizations there, uh, close to 40 of them are yeshivot and day schools from around North America. Uh, the day school, uh, as the future of the Jewish people, uh, has become the center of the Jewish community in many ways, especially out of the New York area. And you see the passion that they bring here, looking for the next generation of leaders for their schools, um, and that's really what's represented in there. Uh, what is our future, the, 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 the K through 12, of education and then beyond the Yeshiva University uh, so that we can make sure that we have a passionate, excited, energized Jewish future. Right. And you know when you're speaking, I got to see some of the um, institutions here. Like they're, they're excited. They're excited to like meet new people because right. you know, they get so many resumes. You know, your inbox starts going, like, okay, you know, like who is this person? When you get to really meet the person and see the passion and see the energy, it's a whole different experience. Absolutely, and I think it's energy in both directions. You see what it's like to be an educator um, in a Denver or in a, Col in a, in a Cleveland or, or elsewhere throughout North America. Uh, what it's like to be somebody who is making a difference every day, uh, not just a drop in the water of the ocean of the New York, New Jersey area, uh, but someone who really makes a difference um, in, in, in the lives of children on a daily basis in a classroom, uh, at a school level, in a community. And that's really the passion that we're looking for. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. As you can see, this is an amazing event. This is Aaron Herman, and thanks for watching.